just a little bit, having some uh, internet difficulties, it seems. But um, for the most part, I think it's uh, stabilized. I've got very little headroom, though, so I might drop frames every once in a while. Uh, but I can always adjust my uh, bitrate a little bit if I need to. I just don't like doing that because I'm greedy. How's the upload speed? <laughs> so my bitrate is uh, typically right around 6K, and I'm at uh, exactly that as my upload speed right about now. So um, there will be maybe some moderate hiccups every now and then. But I'm going to go as long as I can, and if I need to, I can ratchet things down a little bit. I just don't really like doing that because that uh, limits quality, even if it's only in a, uh, <laughs> like, it's marginal, and most people probably wouldn't even notice, but I would know, and so it bothers me. Um Usually I have a, a little bit more headroom. Um, my upload speed is typically close to double um, that 6K point. And now it's like um, just barely above. And right as I said that, it started tanking again. Hey, welcome, Sean. Hey, Assassin. Hey, Matthias. D, Yako, welcome. We'll give it some time. Hopefully, it'll stick. Um, like, I ran about a 30-minute uh, test stream. And I've dropped very few frames. I've already dropped more now than when I did the test, so that's kind of a bummer. Korean German, thank you for the sub for two months in advance. Really appreciate that. And Punder Bay, thank you for the three months with Prime. Raffle, do you accept deck suggestions? Um, Discord is the best place for that, but like at the beginning of an expansion, I have like this long queue of decks I want to play already, so it's hard to um, it's hard to accommodate deck suggestions um, at this point in an expansion cycle. But uh, Discord generally is the best place for that. How's it going, Weezer? Started a new account on a different server because I want to see what it's like to be a new player. I've done that a few times. It uh, It's interesting. It's hard for me to like stick to it. Once I get past a certain point, or once I get to a certain point. Because once I get to a certain point, it's just like, well, why didn't I just do this on my other server? Usually that point is right around when I hit Legend for the first time. Hey, Moises. Welcome, Brit. Is uh, Druid Togwaggle viable again with the new 7 mana spell? Um, I don't think that's the optimal way to build Togwaggle Druid. But it's certainly fun. So I don't think that's the thing that's going to bring Togwaggle to viability. Also, that deck is going to struggle a lot as long as um, Far Watch Post is in existence. All right. So as a word of warning, there may be some stutters in the stream. I am watching it closely, so um, there is no need to let me know. But let's... uh. Let's get into game before, <laughs> while I have stable internet. All right, folks, the deck is Spiteful Hunter. The goal is to make use of the new Primordial Protector, in addition to the Spiteful Summoner, to give you a little bit of redundancy in getting high-cost minions to take advantage of Call of the Wild and the Grand Slam. In addition to that, we do run Tavish Stormpike, in addition to a moderate number of beasts to start a chain and get some minions from our deck directly into play. 
If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Uh, do I have deck tracker up? I think I do. Let's uh, let's do the Hearthstone. Curran German, thank you for the gifted sub. Really appreciate that. Did the Wi-Fi man not come yet? Um, so here's the thing. I continually um, pushed back the maintenance because after that one day last week, my internet has been working fine. So it only seems to be Saturday mornings, which is when I stream that I'm having trouble. So I delayed it, I delayed it, I delayed it. I kept pushing it back until yesterday. I finally was just like, okay, it's fine again. I'll cancel it. Good choice, Raffle. Good choice. All right, against uh, Priest, I don't think I need... Why is this so quiet? Oh, this is what's quiet. There we go. Uh, I don't think I need healing against Priest. That's good to have on curve, though. Hey, B. Well, I got the uh, scale hide back. Hey, Schmoopy. Hey there, big D gamer boy. Lol. Right, let's just go here and face. But having a, a Shandu on curve is generally a good thing. Big buffs. So I'm thinking it's Big Priest. That's going to be a popular deck right now. Um, just because I think it's a good response to some of the aggressive decks in the metagame. Schnau Schnauzer Brow. Thank you for the prime. Hmm. This allows me to press the button, and I do like pressing buttons. Let's go here to play around. Yep. Um, Feel the play around Spirit Lash, or just any sort of, uh, yeah, Spirit Lash in particular. Shadow Essence into Concede Stone. I mean, I think we can beat a Shadow Essence here. I've already got a decent board lead, and I've got rush minions coming. Seems all right. I did try a tempo shadow priest. Didn't go well even in casuals. I tried a uh, rally priest as well, and it was it was not good. <laughs> uh, I'll try it again once we're a little bit further out in the um, month. So I was just kind of getting. I need these two to hit immediately. Not quite immediately enough. And spiteful off the top. It's unfortunate, but um, we'll see. This guarantees a uh, 10 drop, too, so it's got a little bit more consistency than spiteful. Um, even though it's a little bit slower. The good news, though, is that this will allow me to use the weapon to trade into their board. That is fortunate that they did not hit the two mana resurrect. Rally Priest loses to all other aggro decks, gets online too late, and can't win. 
backboards. Yeah, that was exactly my experience. Okay, just do not draw the Zixor or... Well, or that. That was a really bad draw as well. Hey, girls. It's that Cobalt that cast the spell from your deck. Um, Cobalt Archivist or Grand Archivist. Gotta hope for something big here. That was big. Skyblood Orchid, thank you for the 100 bits. Cast Raffle Internet Behave. Okay, we're safe now. Glad to see you being, you're able to get on. I'm, I'm watching it like a hawk, so it's a little bit distracting, but it's, it's mostly there. Okay, it's going to penance this. Not quite. Wait, why did I attack there? That was dumb. Uh, yeah, that was dumb. I did a whoopsie. This expansion has been really fun. Paladin Agro is very strong, but also fair. I would not classify that deck as a fair deck. I think it's just new, so people haven't realized. How, how obnoxious it is just yet. This expansion has been... I did not play this game well, and uh, it's just a bad matchup anyway. I don't think I can win from here. Plunder Bay, thank you for the 100 bits. Any thoughts on Reno Hadronox Druid or Cutlass Poison Espionage Rogue? Um, I think Reno Hadronox Druid sounds worse than just uh, Hadronox Druid, but um, I'm considering a an Espionage uh, Cutlass Rogue at some point. Geneve, thank you for the 100 bits. Imagine Gruul's cheeks clapping when it Charges at you th at 3 a.m. I I often have that thought. Yes. Rexa versus Thrall. <sighs> For Doomhammer. For the Horde. Okay. I want to keep these two. No. I want to keep these two together. Keep the uh, the bronze beards. Um, but. The dream is to get this chain rolling because all of my three drop um, beasts have a rush, so it'll get a decent um, chain going. I think this is likely Murlocs. I know that uh, White Delight got to rank one legend with even Murlocs, so it could be that as well. Do you like the new rogue combo legendary? Um, it's okay. I didn't, I played it in a deck where it wasn't like as useful as I think it could be. Is a Tavish Stormpike OTK possible with Tundra Rhino? It is, but not with uh, Tundra Rhino alone. I think you need um, maybe a little bit of support with it. Moises, thank you for the sub. And Punder Bay, thank you for the 100 bits.
think I do want to use the coin here. I was always using the coin for the Terrain uh, Crescent. I was considering doing it the turn that Mana Saber comes out. But if I'm going to use it anyway, I might as well coin it out here to get rid of uh, the other half of the Murloc there. It's a good draw. I can hold the weapon next turn. I can go here. And then I follow it up with a Tavish into Diving Griffin. Griffin uh, because I'll ha on turn five, I'll actually have, um, what, six mana to work with thanks to the Escape to Mana Saber. So this is pacing out pretty nicely. Actually, I'll have seven mana to work with. Uh, because this gets to attack twice. Billy! Bye, Billy. Pretty good turn. Good job, Tavish. Warper Tingler for that sweet anti-synergy. Yeah, it's anti-synergy to get a completely free card. That's why patches are so bad. I just want to do this so that I can get the extra mana. And go here. Deathwing! What a turn! There's always that one guy that knows better than you. That's, um, that's just how the internet works. I think um I think one of the most egregious areas where that applies is like sports ball. I was uh, like I got served an ad for the NFL the other day uh on the combine and somebody ran like a 435 or a 4440, which is incredibly fast. And like I I accidentally clicked it open and all I saw in the replies well were I don't know about that. That looks more like a 45 to me. And it's just like, God. <laughs> that's the slowest 4340 I've ever seen. Uh, it's just like, who are you? Who are you? Uh, it's possible that uh, my stream is lagging because I've been having some internet issues today. So, again, if uh, if you notice anything slowing down, it might be on my end, but I'm aware of it and I'm watching it closely. I like the uh, the dream of keeping these two together. If I can win the board 
with uh, early game, then I should be able to sneak this these two together. And this is a uh, this is a good card to help me win the early game. Well, if nothing else, I can get a turn five. Um, I guess I was already getting a turn five. Uh, So here's the the problem. Like this doesn't actually get me there any faster, right? Because it effectively does the same thing that the coin's already doing. So I think I can use the coin now, but I don't want to coin the brand because he just dies. So I'm gonna go here, just trade that off, and then next turn I brand. And if it sticks, it sticks. I don't necessarily need it to. <laughs> That might be a problem, though. So I probably only want to play one uh, minion here. Hey, Tulio. Okay. Brand dies, but again, we still get a turn five uh, spiteful. And at least uh, eventually we'll get to kill that. So is this Reno Demon Hunter? Is that, is that what we're seeing here? Something good. Pen drops are usually good. I would go ahead and qualify that as a good hit. Wait, they can't have soul fragments and be Reno, right? That would be silly. I mean, they can. It would just be silly. Does Sunscale Raptor keep all of the buffs? Um, it keeps its own buffs, but not um, not any other buffs. Miss Maria, thank you for the uh, prime. Okay, at least they soften that up. Revenge. I really just need to kill this before playing other stuff, right? This requires them to face take it if they want to remove the 10-5 uh, the now. Or at least based on the information that we have, it appears to be what they're going to have to do. It's just Shuffle Demon Hunter. Imagine if they were running Stowaway. Okay, now they're probably more inclined to face tank it because they just healed for a boatload, but they probably also have some... Oh, no! At least it's not in the outcast slot. Okay, that's good information. I was curious about how that worked um, in a when I was playing a different deck because I generated that, and I didn't know if he would... Um, if he would keep attacking. Right, let's buff this. I think I want to give it some stats now, so it's more likely to survive. And I'll just press the button as much as I can from here. Have you tried any new rogue decks? Yes, uh, the most recent deck I played was a rogue deck.
Oh no! I wasn't able to keep it alive. Let's get the one drops out of my deck. I guess we gave him a free uh, minion there. I'm not used to playing around these watch posts at all yet. Alright, any card but the, the Grand Slam is playable next turn, so... Well, still remains the case. Going anywhere but face from here. Then we fight. Just can't make something. Yeah, I can't make something cost eleven. So, um, yikes! That was uh, kind of a big swing from the opponent, but I, I can't take time trading to have to race. Uh, Call of the Wild is a guaranteed lethal, and um, we've actually got two turns because, yeah. No, I wanted to see what was in the box. Oh, we just got lethal because of the <laughs> because of the one man, uh, the one card on the board. I didn't realize uh, that's gonna get me there. All right, easy enough. Hey, Juice. We're actually doing all right with this deck. Just lost uh, one big priest that scammed us, is that right? It is right, weird. Actually really like Tavish in this deck. I like keeping uh, these two together against any paladin, but Ooh, okay. So, just need to need to dodge um, Nerubians and we'll be fine. I think Nerubians are more punishing for me than the watch post if this is um, like the taxes paladin. None will okay, that's actually fine. Um, Cause I've got a weapon to immediately deal with uh, some of their stuff. And I don't get any um, broken cost reduction or uh, cost increase. I fight for what is right. Can you say the same? No. I usually fight for what is left. Ha <laughs> Oh God, I'm sorry. Might be a dumb question, but there's a card that buffs a beast, and all copies of it. Wouldn't it work well with the Raptor Hunter quest? Um, I don't know. That's what people keep telling me, but I'm not buying it. I'm going to build that deck, but I don't think it's good, just because it's like, when you get to that stage in the game as a uh, quest hunter, I don't think like a few extra stats is what you're missing. So, we just lost. I think my only hope is to get like a really big spiteful roll on turn five. Hey, Raffle, did you know that Wildfire crosses over to Death Knight Jaina? Wait, after that? Like, retroactively?
Because I figured it worked with Jaina. I thought I just assumed that you would have to play the um the Jaina first, but. I have to attack first. Um, no, I don't. Yeah, I do. I don't know what can save me here. <laughs> Behold the armies of Stormwind. Not that. At least it's got good jams. I mean, we just got, like, high-rolled into Oblivion. So you can play Jaina last? Yeah, the problem with that game plan, though, is that, like, Jaina is no longer a viable win condition in Wild. Because somebody's dead by turn 9. Legion's rage pales before mine. For the horde. One, two, four. Seems good. And we can get to that primordial. I probably want to save the coin in this case, and I have an abundance of three drops, so I feel like it's pretty likely that that happens. I like the part where they missed a one drop. Probably looking for I beam. Nice. Somehow we're uh, remaining at least somewhat ahead on board. Uh, I might have to coin this out, and then on turn four I can play my double five at this point. So I think it still works out this way. Surprised you haven't gotten any secret mages yet. Uh, secret mages are currently getting bullied by aggro paladin. So. I don't think that they're going to be as popular as they were prior to the expansion. Okay. I gotta coin this out and probably slam a Zoliax behind it. Nope. Saving the coin. We might be able to get that sunscale here. Oh, we got the buffed one. <laughs> what a great card. Yeah, it's a copy. It's not itself. I mean, we already got some pretty decent... Uh, Tavish value there. I'm not too broken up about that. Oh, that's... Oh, never mind. I mean, that still dies, so it's fine. It's gonna clear that. Uh, I want the extra attackers on board, because eventually they're going to play some minions, right? Next turn we have six mana. My best draw is Spiteful, but um, I want to save the coin for maybe turn seven, where I can get this out. Hey, loser. Hey, I got you, friend. Okay, that goes my plans for this turn. Uh, 
I'm going to give up three damage in favor of guaranteeing um, this next turn. I don't want to risk it because I don't have a great... Well, <laughs> I'm just being greedy. Uh, I want to keep it stealth. Hey, I got you, friend. Yog. It's a good hit. I do have the uh, Zilliax for some healing, as well as the uh, Scale Hide if I need that. Scale Hide can get buffed by a Razor Maw if I draw one. That's fine, I can still play a Zilliax. Still have lethal set up here, so there's no reason not to trade. Well. Well. Um, you're still dead, though. I mean, they were just dead on board as well. But I wanted to hear the Space Jam song in my head. Hey, thanks for the kind words, Johnny. <clears throat> Can you sing the Space Jam song, please? No. This deck is kind of good. Honestly, I've been impressed by how, like, how useful just a Tavish with very little build around is. Like, he's been good. You don't need to go all in on, like, making Tavish work for him to be a good card, it seems. Uh, I'm going to keep the Spiteful because it's what my deck is built around. One, two, ooh. Well, again, this doesn't really speed me up at all. Want to try and save the coin for that. I'm assuming it's some sort of um, control warlock, maybe? No. Looks like a dark player. Seems like a good turn three. This is my four. This is my five. And then potentially this is my six. Does Tavish and Buzzard work the way I think it does? Yeah, it should. It's, uh, Buzzard is on summon. They're probably going to Spirit Bomb this. But in general, I feel like, um, Dark Glare is a pretty good matchup for us just because we have this button. And we make large, uh, minions early in the game. I don't know if I should be attacking their face because of uh, Molten Giants, but they're getting pretty low. I hope you like my oh, maybe it's Mecha Thune? That, that would be better for me. A little nope. Agony goes along. Hey loser. Hey loser. No 
broom, please. Weird to see Novice Engineer in this deck. Are you sure about that, friend? <laughs> what are my lethal outs here? Wind Fury plus three attack. I really want to get the Spiteful down, though. We missed. That feels bad. I think it's it was still worth. Like, we're still at 30, they're at 3. They have, like, uh, spell stones and whatnot, but... We've also just got this button we can keep pressing. I see you. Does a good job of blocking my coin. And they have to like mega overreact here. Because they are one off just being in range for that. Alright. That's maybe better. Because it gives me a uh, double body there. I mean, that's still damage not going at my face. And we've got, like, if they tap even once more, Call of the Wild is uh, a lethal out. Wait, why kill that? Just for board space? Oh, that's bad. Oh, uh, it's okay though, because like because they gave us the mana from the arcane golem, we have coin uh, in the grand slam next turn. But we do have to survive because yeah, they don't they can't have that much burst, right? It, they they've got like eight burst maybe. Never Darkman Rabbit. I think Rabbit would have been better there because at least I would be able to kill off the giant and protect this a little bit more consistently. Is there King Golem actually a thing now? Yeah, it's a good finisher in the deck, and they've already used one. So it's reasonable to expect another. But I think they're just dead here because of the board and the, the Grand Slam. I'm not sure what they're fishing for. 
Another broom. They could have another one. Sixty nine experience, chat. Nice. Jack of Lunacy is no longer a meme. Feels good. I mean, it's, um, it is in wild. One, two, three. I can count. Even Shaman. Idiot totem? Unlucky. Is even Shaman even good? Um, I think a White Delight hit rank one with a Murloc version of the even Shaman, so. I'm gonna go with yes. Would new Kazakus be good in this deck? Uh, no, because we're really heavily reliant on the escaped Mana Saber. For my glory. Idiot totem? Oh, yeah. We did it. We don't get to kill it, but... At least, um, we get to put a one mana, like a good one mana hit in our deck in preparation for the Tavish. next turn, Tavish should be able to get a hit off of the Haunted Creeper. Stop buffing your totems. Well, now really stop buffing your totems. I think I lose the board from here, which is real bad. God, that's brutal. And they're taking an eternity to make their turns. That's like doubly painful. Hey, little buns. Hey, GG, Lisk. Even in odd decks are fun, but I don't have the dust for them because I'm a free-to-play player. I mean, even in odd decks tend to be fairly free-to-play friendly because the cost of entry is mostly just the... Um, the one legendary, right? Tempo good. So I just have to go for that in the next turn. Like I, it's just um, trade bait right now. In the next turn, I go in on double. T Jeez. Get me out of this game. Well I can see. Versus Valera. Watch 
Uh, Bro Mora, again, somebody literally hit rank one with Murloc even Shaman. The good Murlocs are even, especially Flurgle, and especially in the new set. So. It's definitely possible to build around even Murloc Shaman. I, I love you, Raffle. Um, that's not true. You cannot love me. You might love my content, but you do not know me. I appreciate the uh, thought, though. We'll keep. I love the idea of you. Yeah, that's probably more accurate. Alacron Rogue. Wait. Also, they coined a secret? What could that secret be? Something spell-based? So, dirty tricks, maybe? Maybe it's Pillager? I mean, it's probably Pillager, but... Maybe the Shadow Step secret? Haven't we... No, we haven't tested for that. Thought we had... I think it's just Dirty Tricks. choice from the opponent. Paper Pain, thank you for the 14 months. Hey Ruffle, we lost our win streak last month, but I'm feeling confident about this game. Well, I appreciate that uh, confidence. But we're starting to lose the board, so I need a good roll off of this. Something big? Anger, it's okay. Fear. I'm gonna keep these alive so that I have a better chance of getting uh, Tavish value next turn. <laughs> That's rude. Gotta be game, right? Revenge. All right, like, yeah, I can't beat that. Well I can see. People really like the tower defense, I guess. I mean, <laughs> they didn't put that in their deck on purpose. Rexa versus Jaina. Oh, hey, we got a mage. Knowledge is power. For the horde. 
I don't think I want to find a mage with this deck, though. After Slay the Spire, Blizzard should make an actual tower defense game mode. Uh, I don't think that Mercenaries is Slay the Spire, though. Regis has a good video on it. Uh, they don't have much early game removal, so this brand might be able to make it, and I just need to draw through my deck to try and get to the Mana Saber, or allow the opponent to draw me through. But I can't win if I um, if I hold here. They serve the Fire Lord, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Mage is pretty oppressive this expansion. Um, no. <laughs> if anything, maybe less so than previously. Alright, let's just uh, get two cards out of hand. Next turn I want to slam the Lothab anyway. So hopefully we don't die here. They haven't played Encanter's Flow, so that's kind of limiting. They have played now a second one of those. But I go here and then I double up the uh, Spiteful. That's really good for me. They're also overdrawing here, but I don't think that matters unless it hits something big. What matters is we lock them out for a turn and then we get double spiteful value. My hand is too full. There shouldn't be a card that they can play here, yeah. And the important thing is that this gets stats on board. Probably be punch and face. Hey, it's Yogg. That's not many stats. I mean, that's got a big caboose, so. Kind of into that. Ooh! That might have been good there. Oh, we're just dead. I did not expect the uh, Mizaki version. Maybe they don't have enough cards for this. Nope, I was it's wrong, they do. I think we beat the Flame Waker version, but... Oh wait, it's the bad version of Wankery? Yeah, but don't tell that to Twitch chat, especially not when we're in the process of losing. Because if it beats us, it's better. Wait, your mage is better? Yes, but Twitch chat won't be hearing that. Paper Pain, thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, Raffle, do you think you could win? You would. How do you think you would fare in a fight against Bear Shark? Oh, I would get destroyed. What? Like it? I don't think anybody can beat up a bear shark. It's got the body of a bear. It's got like the best parts of each animal. It's got the body of a bear, which is gonna maul you, and then the head of a shark, which is just gonna consume you immediately. Such a dumb deck. Yeah, imagine if they were playing the good version. One, two, three. That's a good three as well. Ralph, will you play spell alignment giant druid again and add more giants? I don't think I could add more giants if I wanted to, and probably not.
Like, I think the only reasonable giant that I was missing... Well, I was only missing Frost Giant and Molten Giant from memory, and neither of those are very consistent in that deck. I'm already bad into uh, Defile. Not much I can do about that. Solemn said that Flame Waker is the bad version, which is pretty funny. I mean, that's just like his opinion, but I think considering more people have gotten super high ranks with the Flame Waker version, I would consider it the better version. Texas, thank you for the five months. Wild Drain Soul, so it's some sort of control warlock. Probably want the poisonous. Preemptively. Punished. I think this is uh, Corbett's deck. You got a pretty good rank with. Should I start the chain this turn? No, let's go here in Hero Power, and then I'll play play the Tavish next turn, I think. Because I want to save the coin to get here faster. Paper Pain, thank you for the underbits. Follow up, which is the strongest card you think you could beat in a fight? Uh, Target Dummy? Oh, it's Mechathun. Oh, no. I was looking for, so good 50-50 there. I didn't want to give up four damage to face. I shouldn't be able to combo for two more turns, so they don't want to tap. Must destroy. Okay. Blood is my currency. That's pretty good hit for them. I think that might have just won the game. My deck approaches its end. Is there an eight drop beast with charge of rush, uh Devil Soar? But Wait, why tap there? Oh, oh, they're just doing this. Oh, no. Wait, that's better for me? I think it's better for me. I need to set this so that I can uh, slam next turn. That's kind of cute. All right. Do you believe Mizaki Mage is tier one in wild? No. But I also think it's way too early to make um, assessments of the current metagame. I think that Mizaki Mage is worse than the Flame Waker version. Oh, 
Ugh. No, don't. That may have killed me. You ever play standard? No. I'm looking for a few good mercenaries. Probably getting a five. Oh wait, they added four stuff to their deck. They did a whoopsie. Maybe should have hit the seven. In hindsight, yes, but generally I think that was much worse. But I do not have the power of foreseeing the future. All right, we got got. <laughs> that gives me a little bit of hope for my version of uh, the uh, Niru Niru uh, Fireblade Warlock. <laughs> Thanks. Be safe. Do we really just say with confidence, but you think there are decent odds for Mage's Pot of Greed being nerfed? I think that they're probably, because of standard, I think Lunacy is more likely to be nerfed. You asked for it. For the horde. One, two, three. I want to keep the coin as long as I can. Will you update your Cthune rug with Galakrond? I don't think that there's anything to update. So probably not. Okay, we're spiteful away from having a very good hand. Have you ever been to Hungary? Uh, no, but there are times in my life when I have myself been hungry, if that counts for anything. Explosive. Feels kind of bad, but it's also not explosive, so that's good. So we know it's not explosive, so I might as well just play this, right? Or I could play this. That way, when I draw, they're a little bit better. Are there any competitive decks that are fun too? Uh, yeah, lots of them. But like, fun is relative. So, what's fun for one person isn't necessarily fun for everyone. I'm late. I'm late. Need to play around explosive here. Yeah. So, Counterspell, Ice Block, Rig, Fair Game, another one portal are still on the table. Which is a lot of secrets. And there's a lot of damage not hitting me in the face. Breeze. Then we 
Might as well press this button. I'm assuming one of those is spell based and the other is rigged fair game, uh, just because, like, we haven't seen like they played one of them earlier. What? Got something to hide. Also, what? Wham Bamboozler, thank you for the under bits. Also, also, uh, what? That is a good question. Uh, it could be Reno Secret, and we haven't seen a duplicate yet. I wonder. I was wrong. We have seen a duplicate now. Gotta pop the block here. I'm assuming there is one. But I cannot. So that's unfortunate. But we set him to two, so the button uh, wins. No spiteful necessary. All right, I'll be right back. I need to take a quick break. I will return shortly.
<sighs> All right. Let's see if we can get another big Tavish turn. He's been a lot of fun. Rexa versus Jaina. Knowledge is power. For the horde. You win. Didn't really want to play against another mage anyway, but... I would rather play Hearthstone than not play Hearthstone. Rexa versus Maez. Hey, TK. None can escape my fury. Keep this. Uh, probably can't keep the Primordial Protector, though. Wham Bam Boozler, thank you for the 100 bits. Ralph Lee could not possess the opponent's mind and make them concede. It would make for better content. I don't want people to concede against me, though. It's uh, good for turn three. I might just have to throw this out there naked, though. It's a really good draw because it gets me to my um, spiteful on turn five. Hey, rotted. I think I might have to delay the value here and play for board a little bit more. Because I am afraid of dying. I don't know how you find room for Penflinger in this deck, but... Blood and like, it seems kind of risky with, uh... Jeez, oil. I just need to eye roll here. I could go here and here. But I think I'm more often than not dead if I do that, so... Incoming bunny. Oh god, I was joking. Why would you do that to me? Job done. Oh no. Uh, they have one pen flinger. If they don't have a weapon fetch, I might be okay. No, sap the uh, spiteful. What are you doing? Oh my god, are we doing this? I need an attack buff on this. Plus three attack. Okay.
We still die to a lot of things here uh, in this next turn. Like, this could very easily be an oil. But it's not. I need something very big here. Ideally with taunt. They're out of saps! Out of saps! <laughs> oh my god, I think we did it. Yep. I suppose that makes up for the bunny. Wham Bam Boozler, thank you for Thunderbirds. You asked for Bunny and you got it, you asked for Taunt and you got it. Did you ask for Wham Bam Boozler getting a winning lottery ticket? Yeah, absolutely. Bork Bork, thank you for the eight months. If we see a card here that indicates, um, what do you seek? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the greed line. I think it's a, um, I think it's a miracle mage, but like I need to get to spiteful regardless if I want to win. It's definitely the Miracle deck. But we do have Lotheb here at least. Have you ever considered a video where it's clips that didn't quite make the YouTube cut but were still pretty funny? Um, I... That's, um... I'm barely able to keep up with editing as it is. So, raw footage is on uh, a different channel, but like editing additional content is not something that I have the capacity to do right now. Mictux, thank you for the prime. I think health is valuable because it's effectively the same as health on my face. Somebody in the comments today actually asked for a fail compilation video, and I've done that before, and it was one of the worst performing videos on my channel at the time. So, it's not something that people actually want to watch. It's weird. Not a card I was expecting here. What's the second secret? Fair game, maybe? Do I want to? I don't know if I want to play this. Hmm. 
Aren't they overdrawing now? My hand is too full. My hand is too full. Oh, we have actually drawn every single spell. <laughs> this uh, primordial is not great right now. Is deck of R lunacy relevant in wild? Um, not in the way that it is in standard. The whole reason it's good in standard. Oh wait. The whole reason it's good in standard right now is uh, because of its consistency. Because there's a larger card pool in wild, there's less consistency. Comfortable filling the board here. They've lost some damage, but uh, not all. I'm assuming it's the Mizaki version with the cards that have, or with that ruined orb. Of this. Who's ready for a little shoulder? Someday I'll be just like you. We're not necessarily dead, but seems likely. But it depends on whether or not they have a uh, card draw or the bolt, which they've got to have both at this point, right? Probably been asked, but why isn't Zul'jin in the stick? Uh, he doesn't do anything. It hasn't been asked. We don't play the spells. Unfortunate. I mean, that deck's got a massive advantage against us. As do most decks. Man, Bamboozler, thank you for the underbends. Commence Annihilation, is that what my ex-wife said after I do at the altar? Guess I should have taken that as a big red flag. Gaining popularity too. Yep. But like, it's not the good version of the deck. Uh, the Mizaki version is just a worse version than the Flame Waker version. So I think the Flame Waker version is good. With refreshing spring water, I don't think Mizaki is good. Or I think it's good, but I think it's not as good. Um. I really don't like playing Razor Maul without a one drop, so I'm gonna look hard for a one drop. I've got other twos that I can play. Draws right now. So many 
possibilities. Need to find the spiteful. A little agony goes a long way. Okay. If they clear the um, the Griffin here, I'm just gonna have to play the second Griffin over uh, the Mana Saber. I can't leave a Dark Glare on the board. Actually, I could kill that with the uh, the weapon if I really want to. I think I'd rather take the flinger off the board, though. I think the only punish here is either a raised dead or a spiteful off the top, right? They play uh, any minion, we can get a Call of the Wild down. I don't really want to face tank a uh, <laughs> Flesh Giant here, though. Get the Dark Lair. Need something with a little bit more health to attack into. Not, not that. <laughs> to go but face right now. You can't go face right now. A minion with taunt is in the way. Do they have a soul fire? I see you. You're you're dead though? Unity, precision, perfectionity. I'm going to swap decks here. How often do you get stream sniped? 
I don't know, not often enough for me to be overly concerned about it. But it does happen. All right, folks, the deck is Patron Warrior. This time around, not only do we have an unnerfed, slightly, Warsong Commander, but we also have Gruntled Patron for additional copies of Patrons to send out our opponent's minions, trade off favorably, and use ETC God of Metal in order to get some finishing damage. So this does look a little bit like uh, the old Patron, where... Um, where you can actually get some face damage immediately from the uh, summoning, from summoning them off of Warsong Commander. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitchtv raffle. the chaos i think i like keeping these two together eh. no i think i can get better early game i want like town criers returning rover yep this is a much better hand sense. Let's just go here. If I hit uh, Rokara off of this, which isn't that unlikely, I'm just going to throw her into play and buff these up. So this. Can't backstab it. Why not stage dive? Do you rather the two one two body? Yeah, generating a body is usually better than um, stats now is better than stats later. Like, Town Crier is just almost always a better card than, uh, Stage Dive. Losing that Rakara was a uh, pretty big bummer. It's going to be annoying. What do you think about Wicked Stab? I don't know what that is. 
so apparently not a lot. It's quiet. Too quiet. Hey, loser! New Eviscerate card? Oh, it's the one that, um, the ranked spell. I think it's probably okay, but probably worse in this deck because they're, um, relying on combo. You have a lot of whirlwind effects, but probably need to clear that. Um, best draw would be Warsong Commander. Please. Actually want to take damage here for the uh, battle rage and I would rather have the health on this I'm hey, glad you're liking the young uh, the content dust slayer hey loser, hey, loser. Quite the role. It's not a role Vanessa is targeted. Really? I don't know how that card works yet. Oh right, it's the spell the card you played last turn. Okay. An armor. I'll show you who's boss. Armor, main to everyone. Get in here. Much rage. Hmm. 
Okay. I don't want to play the uh, ETC because that's potentially part of my combo. I can, if they go wide here, I can go ETC next turn with the uh, Warsong Commander. this deck good and fun? Um, it's my first game playing it. Uh, that turn was messy. I didn't have enough stuff to attack into. Ordering makes me sad. What was wrong with... Oh, they had that one extra armor that I gained? I don't think that that's relevant. I think there are more important things to uh, be sad about. Because here... What I need is the uh, Warsong Commander off the top. One and four. Beautiful. Charge forward. That's my point. Rikes on me. That's my point. Rikes on me. A tactical error. Rikes on me. That's my point. Rikes on me. Oof. So, pretty good turn even if it didn't kill. 
found lethal. Like, we were way ahead in fatigue anyway. So there's no way that they were winning from there. They unnerfed Warsong? Sort of. They changed Warsong. I feel like Paladin's pretty good for our deck, regardless of what type of Paladin it is. The even the Call to Arms like Watch Post deck is probably fine. Which is what this looks like. Yep. I want to draw my cards now. A decent 50 50 roll. Now I just lose. Oh, that's so brutal. This is the end of all things. Feels bad. Decent matchup, Keck W. I mean, I literally w lost that game off of a coin flip, so. Way to base your entire opinion about something off of one example. Deathwing versus Jaina. You asked for it. Come, embrace the chaos. Isn't Oh My Yog such a well-designed card? I think it's fine. How is it not well-designed? Just because bad thing happened doesn't mean card bad that made bad thing happen. It's a good draw. I didn't draw a card this turn. I will not be the um, honestly, that's not that bad because because I might need to play the blood razor. We have many secrets. I also need to punch face here. But I want to have a whirl whirlwind ready for next turn, so. Going like this. Oh, 
I'll show them. I'll show them all. Unfortunate, but not the end of the world. I'll show you who's boss. Honor made to be. I will not be denied. We're just playing defense this game. It's not really like a patron or combo game. Unironically, the worst card design is either Crackle or Implosion. Yeah, that's why we haven't seen cards like that since. I think that they've learned from uh, those decisions. Excuse me, you are on fire. Oh. No lollygagging! Find a room here now. Nice. That's a pretty decent turn, all things considered. You can have it. Prime that. I don't want to uh, proc a spell this turn, or a, um, a counter spell, or a Netherwind. I'm late. I'm late. It's the second time we've seen that card today. to flame ward, didn't I? That's embarrassing. I am not perfect, but often. Amazing. I had to just suck it up though after I made the decision because it's rig fair game as well. Ruffle, are you open to deck suggestions at the moment? No, they, I can't feasibly take deck suggestions right now when I've got a long queue of decks I want to play. One of these is getting countered. No arena patrons? Uh, you're a little bit late. Someone already made that joke.
Um, it's just two top decks better from now. Yeah, they don't have a rig fair game, which is weird, so I mean, blew up my board for nothing. Very sad Brucan is mostly useless in standard, is he? I thought people were playing him at least early on. I don't feel good about just playing this out. Excuse me, you are on fire. I need a minefield or the bear of or something. Everyone, grab a drink. I'm not too young to fight. Frost wolves. They don't have a great way to answer this without like fireballing it. I think we're going to win from here, but not because of the decisions that I've made. We played a deck that includes watch posts. Uh, just the aggro paladin that everybody's playing right now. I'm waiting to see um, if far watch post gets nerfed, though, because it seems like something that is likely that will happen. Why Celestial Lion is not legendary? Um, well, it's not very good. <laughs> uh, same reason the Astral Communion isn't legendary. It's not like a legendary effect. And I imagine that the idea is that you should be able to play two of them. Wonder why they made that legendary Merc so weak? I can't do that. Rokara? I'm pretty sure she's the best legendary, or the best, um... What? She's the best mercenary, isn't she? <laughs> that is news to me. Carriel is better. I could see that. Maybe in standard. I don't think Tamsin is even close in wild, though. Rokari is... Very good. Especially in Pirate Warrior. I did not draw cards for much of this game, but that is... Largely my own doing. Cutter Butter? I think she's better than Cutter Butter. Tamsin is uh, solid in Dark Glare for additional burst. I don't think that that folds up. <laughs> I don't think people are running her. And I don't think that Dark Glare is very good right now because of the aggro paladin. Oh my god, I forgot about his second effect. I almost conceded there, chat. No fireball? Oh my god. <laughs> We're actually gonna win this. <laughs> oh no, it's Flame Ward, never mind. That's 
I have not seen Double Flame Ward in a long time. I don't think we win from here now. Other than maybe ETC can carry. Got something to hide? I need to hold this and draw minefield and then play ETC with oh my god we lose. Few cards remain. Charge fall. Set of cards. This is such a frustrating game, but it's all my own fault. What on earth is this list? I think it's the same. We faced this opponent uh, once before. It's not a good list. I can con actually confirm Tamsin has played in newer Dark Lair lists. I'm not disputing that she's played. I don't think that... Sure. Okay. You're right, chat. You win. <laughs> Tamsin is better than Rokara. Confirmed. Like, I don't think that... I don't think she's good and she makes the moves of the needle enough in Dark Lair at, like, in the same way that Rokara does in Pirate Warrior, but... Sure. I don't think I don't think people it's agreed that, that she's the, one of the 30 best cards in the deck. But I'll concede you're right, you're smarter than me. Yes, we. Versus Arthas. Come, embrace the chaos. Uh, keep these two together maybe. I think I can get better early game. Hey Quentin. Well, I got that anyway. Reno Priest good anymore? Um, I haven't seen it much lately. It was starting to fall off prior to the expansion and the fast decks that are now popular in the expansion are probably not helping. Like this deck, for instance. <laughs> turn next turn if I survive it's not expecting to see that today I I messed up this turn. This is the end of all things. I had to clear on that. Latch, thank you for the 13 months. Oh, 
Not worth running that Warrior Plague spell. Nope. It's not a good card in this deck. Embrace the chaos. I need better early game against mage. I want my armor gain, uh, and I want town crier. I got none of it. What's your opinion on plague maw? I don't know what that card is. Job done. Oh, he's bad. <laughs> I'll show them. I'll show them all. Would have liked to have drawn some cards this game. I will crush your delusion. Oh. Reno, maybe? See no reason not to go face here. Turn four in wild seems slow now. It's not just that like a four mana card is slow, it's that you want to run Oaken Summit. Bummer. You want to run Oaken Summons in a um taunt your deck right now because of the 510 and that kind of makes it harder to do so. Okay, this is my better weapon anyway. I will not be denied. Same thing here, like I clear that with the whirlwind anyway, so why why attack into that? It's just like a natural ooze. Punch there. I will not be denied. I'll show you who's boss. I'm just gonna go with the mana efficient play this time. I can use this for refill. Have you seen any Mizaki mages? Uh, yeah, I've seen a few. Gun skipper into uh, patron, but I don't think that was strong enough there. Should have attacked that one first in case of dupe. Unfortunately, that's probably um, Flame Ward. I think I want to slow down on drawing cards. This game might go to fatigue. Patron means boss? No. It means somebody that is like a customer at a. Um, An establishment. What to do? What to do? Let 
It wasn't flame ward. Whoops. Most patrons think they are the boss of my restaurant. <laughs> I could see that being true. Okay, at least we gained some armor here. Oh my god, this is so slow. So it's ice block and counter spell, maybe? Easy. I will not be denied. Yeah, so we're even on cards. Um, I need to. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. I need to be careful with my, oh my god, that's, that's a card. Crowded my board too much. Whoops. No Watch closely as I make everyone good of Probably just have to play it here. them beat themselves maybe because uh, I don't really have many outs here opponent really likes emotes yeah that'll happen hey Captain Koala Nice outcome. Who knows what secrets will uncover? Such a perfect Seems like a worse choice than just a cloud prince here. I mean, there's no way that um, that the Keysmith was better than the Cloud Prince. 
I think that they could have just made the correct choice and been better off. But they got their emotes in, so. I feel like we should do fine against Rogue. This is a decent hand. I don't know if I want the patron. But maybe it's okay to keep since I'm going to be getting a Blood Razor early. Oh, well, that's pretty good with a Blood Razor as well. So I can coin the Blood Razor into this. Maybe. I don't know. Hey, happy to hear that element. Why they do not update the patron's abilities? I'm not sure what you're asking. To just frenzy that that is what they did i'm just gonna go next i don't really want to wait like gruntled patron is an updated version of grim patron with frenzy but the grim patron effect and the, pa the gruntled frenzy or the gruntled patron effect are very different Not sure if trolling, but Deathwing versus Jaina. You ask for it. Come embrace the chaos. These are not the cards I'm looking for. No, oh, these are a little bit better. Would Bladestorm work with Old Grim Patron? Uh, usually it just goes off once. So it's like a really expensive whirlwind, right? I guess not. But yeah, but yeah, I've used um, I've used it in the past and I don't know, it's always, I feel like Minefield is a little bit better just because it's cheaper. Do you think they should revert Warsong to give charge? Nope. I think it's fine as is. They already reverted charge to give charge. I think it's just fine. I'm going to wait until next turn to play these two. I could play this into potentially explosive runes. But no. Nah. Uh, maybe I don't even play the skipper because I might just die to the explosive here. I intend to deceive. Do try. 
Explosive? Hmm. <laughs> That's awkward. There's the explosive. But this just sets up for the Sour Fang next turn. Seven mana build a board. Sour Fang's animation is sweet, yeah. He's actually been overperforming. You only really need to get one, like, tick off of your uh, gruntled patrons to make it worth, right? I don't think uh, I'm attacking face this turn, just because... of the potential for Flame Ward. Is that crazy? Must burn Drink your blood. Eat your flesh. I'm not That's too young to fight! I'll hold for a turn. Play around the flame ward here. Okay, that's the new secret. That gives me another card off of this rip that's my pint it survives right oh come on what why didn't the rokara go off this is after right after and after Shouldn't the Rikara trigger first? Oh, we're going to have to go into follow only mode. Oh my god. Hmm. A conundrum. Can we ban those people when mods get a chance? Thank you, Rixar.
Might be because of Rikara got played later. Yeah, I was trying to figure out the um, order of that. I intend to deceive. Oh my god. That's a bummer. Uh, I need to attack face here. And just gain my armor. I don't have much length here. We lose. I think we lose. Why are people so butthole about a symbol though? Because without much else going on in their lives, they have to get mad about something. I guess I don't know. Boogie, thank you for the sub. The battle rage went through. Yeah, the battle rage getting countered was a bummer, but I don't really have uh, many spells that can be used to test for it. This isn't going too well? Yeah, yeah, it really helps to hear that when, <laughs> when I'm all right. Frenzy is still a reuse mechanic from Rage. Nope. Frenzy is different from Enrage. Be mad, I guess. I don't know. This is looking like that uh, shuffle. Wait, there was no Cthune early. I don't know what it is then. Spell. Spell. Zero mana draw two. Seems pretty good. Man Crick incoming, yeah, but last time I played the deck with uh, Man Crick, there was uh, Cthune in there too. Enjoy this coin. I'll show you who's boss. Here you are. You are the fighter of the night. What would you replace ETC with in this deck? I probably wouldn't. I would build it differently without ETC.
Get a patron turn next turn. Who would win, Ticketus chat or Symbol chat? Um, I don't know, if they're ever in the same chat room together, everybody loses, so. That's my point. I think I want damage to face here. Neither Ticketus Chat nor Gly or Symbol Chat can defeat Glide Chat, though. I mean, Glide Chat was pretty short lived. What was that? Extra arms, nice. The future is ours. Behold the tools of creation. Think Mana Biscuit and Refresh and Spring Water will be nerfed. Um. I don't know. I think it's too early to say. I think Encanter's flow is more likely to be the problem. I think cost reduction in general is kind of the problem. If I had to choose uh, one thing. Cost reduction is both is a problem both in canters and deck. I think yeah, I think just anytime you're for wild at least, I don't know what's going on in standard. I think that their their issue is different than the uh, issue in wild, but um, in wild the issue with like uh, the miracle mage is that um, is all the cost reduction. Patron Warrior, Hearthstone's first tier zero deck. No, far from it. <laughs> no. Uh, Undertaker Hunter probably was. Or Buzzard Unleash. this. Issue and standard is the with the deck of lunacy? Yeah. No, I know. They're, they're very separate problems. But deck of lunacy is too consistent in standard because there's a narrow card pool. Missed bits? Oh, sorry about that. Janave, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, you think it gets harder to meme in wild with every expansion making the meta faster? Um, I think it's just like, it, it's just the time of the month that's the issue right now. I don't think it's necessarily, like, you're gonna, no matter how fast the meta game is, I'm gonna get like stomped by aggressive decks that people choose to play anyway, so. Like I don't think that like this, like I just need to queue not into meta decks if um, in those circumstances. So it's um, I don't think it's a big issue. No lollygagging. Recognize me. Thank you. 
I don't get a patron here, but I just need to uh, get some board space. I got twisty nethered. I still just got this as a finisher. better than uh, attacking into potentially wandering monster. I'll be right back. WTFBM. No, it was the correct play because if it was wandering, I lose. Or don't necessarily kill there. So, WTF listen. I think I'm going to put that deck on hold for a bit. It does not seem... Uh, I'll try it one more time. I want to queue into those paladins, but like every time I queue into a paladin, they high roll a uh, crab rider on me. And that feels bad. I think we should be fine into Pirate Warrior. Just because we have good defense. If we can draw it. That's pretty good. Get a patron board. 
That's very good as well. Might as well just draw my last weapon. <laughs> um, could be big warrior. Nope. I will yeah. I'm gonna attack um, the next two turns it looks like and then just equip the weapon this coming turn. I need to dodge a Rakara though because they do have the athletic studies. That would be a bummer. Doesn't look like they have it. Sure. Hey, I got a Rakara. I will not be denied. Let's clear that. Next turn we can go. Um, like we lose the battle cry effect on it for next turn. But next turn we can go skipper into a uh, gruntled patron. I'm gonna get a card here, but I think I'm okay with that. It's a tough call. I don't know which one you want to kill here, but yeah, probably the patron. They have a rush minion in hand, so it's not likely that this. Oh, okay. Hand buff warrior. Yeah. Uh, I did one too many points of damage to that, um, skipper. Which matters because I could have, uh, played the Rakara. Probably just play her anyway. It's a interesting deck the opponent has here. Okay. I'm going to go second patron here. No. I'm going to go weapon. Got the combo. By the power of Ragnarok, I have the power! Fire on! 
But I think I need to save the weapon swing. Yeah, was a... Wait, are we dead? Guess not. I shouldn't have played that. You aren't even ready for this. Nefarian is slain. Nefarian is slain. Room. Nice. Doesn't matter though. It's still dead. Listen here. Cross rolls. Ah. Well done. This is the end of all things. <laughs> all right. I think I need to revisit that deck. Might have been Juno. I know if I don't run Jaina in this deck, people are gonna riot, so I might as well find a way to get Jaina in here. All right, folks, the deck is Hero Power Reno Mage. The goal of the deck is to buff our hero power in the early game and then get to Luna's Pocket Galaxy so that we can play Mordresh Fire Eye for one mana and potentially bounce them back to hand with a copy of Potion of Illusion. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle.
Would Janu reset the wildfire buff? Apparently not. Somebody told me earlier that that is not the case. Do you say watch this uh, in your head after doing the deck explanations? No, I just leave that for Twitch chat. I think Lothab is probably a must keep if it's going to be um, like Miracle Mage, right? Cthune. Well, it's probably better for me than... Um, Mazaki or Waker Mage. That is a, a play for turn one. Did you try duels at all? Um, only when it first released. I haven't played much since then. I want to coin the uh, Tortolan if I can to get to the Pocket Galaxy faster. If I draw the Pocket Galaxy, I'll just coin that instead. Break it, you buy it. I see no reason to play this uh, this turn. Boogie, thank you for the underbits. Did YouTube Brawl just break into your stream to record this intro? No, he steals that from me as well. Which is really unfortunate. Let's play the brand. Wow. <laughs> that poor Brynn never stood a chance. for the debate here. They're going to waste a ping on this. Oh my god, never mind. I see. Yes. Ah, it still kind of worked out. It would have just been better the other way. Let's go Lothab to buy ourselves a turn into the uh, coin Tortolan. Can't debate Cthulhu, it's true. I should have known. Oh no. It's a really good draw, the turn, or in the turns prior to getting this down. Now I can start the um, Luna train. If power is what you I haven't done a whole lot of hero or damage with my hero power yet, so I might want to start that process before uh, anything else. Yeah, especially since I drew the Mordrush. So. Got four more damage to do here. Okay. 
will show them. I will show them all. Oh my god. The dream chat. Once I get this online, I can go here, 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 here. <laughs> okay. So I've got the potential for... We're gonna have some fun. A great many copies of Mordresh. Why did that do five damage? Why did what do five damage? The flame strike? Because that's Flame Strike does five damage now. Is this a budget deck? I mean, depending on your budget it could be. I don't feel as though I need to be concerned about um, the opponent's board when I can just like repetitively do um, 10 damage to everything. Interesting. Bummer that they got that skulking geist back. Not sure what I'm going to do about that. Wait, this works, right? We can pop the block here. No water, Ellie. Feels Batman. Uh, if they reno, it's unlikely that they're able to ping or kill this Mordresh, so we should be able to get at least one back from the barista. That was brutal? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, what our deck's trying to do. Watch closely as I make everyone disappear. That's also kind of brutal. Let's go here. We should have almost entirely spells left. Just find the uh, Janelai forehead. Behold the tools of creation. Your wish is my suggestion. Behold the tools of creation. Unlucky. They probably don't have the Reno or the uh, 
regular Reno Jackson. We're gonna be rich. Except that they do. <laughs> that would have been good last turn. Let's go here. Wait, that's potentially Flame Ward, right? <laughs> I think that's okay, though. Just going for value. Welcome to the show. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three. Perfect. Double pump as Arano, extra star whip, high mount, nice room for mana spice coming right up. The time is now. Here for the tour? Really? <laughs> uh. Not playing Reno before was such a greedy play? I know. I know. Like, if I had hit Janelai, I just won. What kind of secret was that? Was that another mage secret? That oh, it came off of the scientist, right? Yeah. Value, chat. Value. Oh, this is destroy an enemy. Oh my god. That's fine. We can kill it with this. I have Zephyrus. So Zephyrus plus... Um, Bloodlust. Or I probably want a fireball first. Could just cast that. Unity, precision, perfection. And go here to kill that. Full legendary mage win. Um, a few months ago. I don't know what, like, I can't play around. Or, I can't play into. Flame Ward here, did can I? Look at me. Or, rather, I have to play into Flame Ward. So I didn't really have a good Zephyrus play there. But I will next turn. I do have a Janelai in here somewhere. But it's also entirely possible that's um, Ice Block. 
So I want to find some secret hate off of the Zephyrus now. What would make us rich? I'm sorry, what? Your wish is my suggestion. Oh, the camera shut off. Hmm, I must decide. I think I like Shadowflame better here. This flame Strike doesn't. Eh, Flame Strike gives me. Sokka's opportunity. Yeah, it's just Shadowflame, though. I still have Lethal with this. just a matter of whether this is um, ice block or not now. I need to get a 10 pot. I missed the pop at one. But I was running out of time. I I was meant to ping there. The reason I wanted a, a 10 pot was in case they have Yashira, I need to be able to uh, get the 6 to all. But now I guess I'm just fireballing face and winning that way. I gotta make a water Ellie here, chat. Where's my elemental? Also famous! Wild Arson streamer, get me out. Thank you for the 31 months. This deck is sweet just like the streamer. Well, thank you very much. That was our first game and we got, um, what, triple Mordresh? At least double. We got double and it popped the block. It was pretty good. Oh. Also, I almost just crashed the, uh, the green screen. Another mage. Let the games begin. Your curiosity will be the end of you. I think regardless of what type of mage it is, I want to have ice block, really. This is a good hand against mage in general. So pretty happy about that. And we got the Tortolan. Alright. But like Ice Block is good against both Miracle and um, Secret. Hey, Shadow Dragon. Okay, that gives us an opening here. Um, I'm assuming it's not sacred if they miss turn one and two. Break it, you buy it. So probably um, some sort of miracle mage, which means the ice block is quite valuable. For a mirror match, I don't have a way to deal with that. That's concerning. <laughs> you Job done. Yeah. Behold the tools of I don't have much in the way of uh, proactive removal. At least I do have the Lothab for next turn. So that can, uh, yeah, if they're getting greedy with it, that can slow them down. Honestly? If they want to play a minion here, I'm fine with it, so I'm just going to lock them out this turn and then have that trade. And then, worst case scenario, I, like, 
I use the uh, Zephyrus to kill a minion next turn. Such a bad draw. Your wish is my suggestion. Monkey. My hand is full. That's a good burn if it's uh Mizaki. Guess we die. Wait, that actually helps me potentially not die. Probably still dead here. Like almost certainly. Yeah, we're dead. Not sure what else I could have done there. I don't think I have a good matchup. mind keeping the Luna in this matchup, but probably want to FOMO the rest of this. The light dims, but we fight. Playing Zephyrus was bad? What was my alternative? The alternative was I just give them the board and then lose anyway. What play was better? And how would that have changed the outcome? Oh. Ah, works against me. This is a good card in this matchup. They're probably going to shove a... Oh, that's good for me. It's a bummer with a Tortolan in hand. Is why would normally like that? Yeah, it's a quick format. It always has been, but it's like very fast right now. Oh, it's my deck? I mean, this is the deck that literally everyone is playing. It's just the best deck. Just need to make a body here.
No need to be rude? Yes, there is. I don't think I was being rude, I was just... Way to answer that uh, web lord right now. Finally, a second chance. I don't want to insult anyone, but keeping Zeph is my answer to what could have been better. But what does that change? I still lose the game. <laughs> so if it's better, you have to you have to explain why. You can't just say it was better. Like nothing. The outcome of the game would have been the same whether I had Zephyrus or not. You're not insulting anyone, you're just not saying anything. Well, uh, that was fun. Fun and interactive. I mean, it's... Yes. <laughs> We go through this every day, but things that are bad are not uninteractive. You can, the the fact that it's a 2-4 minion that you can target and remove without stealth, is, stealth is the definition of interactive. Getting locked out is not a lack of interactivity. If I had cards that removed minions in the early game, I would have been able to remove those minions. That's not uninteractive. I don't think I need a tour guide on one. Okay, I explain why keeping Zephyrus is better. Zephyrus in that matchup has the highest healing potential of cards you had in hand. You still lost the game, but keeping Zephyr would have resulted in a win more often than not. But the deck does 30 damage a turn. So healing is irrelevant. Me. Like a single flash heal or even even if I get the most amount of healing off as of as possible, I die. Healing doesn't save me in that matchup. I'll show them. I'll show them all. Looks like um some sort of secret. Hunter, so I want a five pot for AoE. There it is. Cool. Expardon me?
Okay, that could have been bad for me. It's kind of bad for me. Um, I'm going to play the Reno. Do I bother attacking face? I, I'm going to have to eventually, right? just want to get this down. It's uh, potentially pressure plate, but I don't really care about these minions right now. That feels eight for four mana. That... Okay, you win. Um, Primitive. I would rather bounce this, but like this is going to die to the explosive if I do it that way, right? Well, it dies anyway, so. Oof. I can clear. Didn't even trade with King Crush, SMH. That would be King Rush, so. Would have been illegal to do so. I think I need to set the Jaina next turn. Does Jaina keep the hero power buff? Yes. Or at least I've been told that, that that's the case. I haven't yet tested it myself, but I believe the person that told me that it does. Here's our Janelai. We have a lot of damage from this, so. Need to test for snipe at some point as well, so this is probably my snipe test. Jaraxxus? Okay. It's just, uh. Jaraxxus Hunter, I guess. Wait, didn't they want. They could have attacked first, right? Alright, let's go here. Welcome to the show. Now I can we're probably gonna get uh hit with a rat trap, right? You're in my now. Behold the tools of Oh my creation. god, we did it again, chat.
We got decent enough Luna value already. And uh, we can just hit a one mana Janelai next turn. I would like something that uh, maybe gives us more damage on our hero power. This does four. Oh wait. Oh god. Oh my god, this is outrageous. I just want to see the more dress again. That is uh, most definitely a turn. <laughs> oh, the deck's working. Is that a guitar pick? It is, it is. He's here to rock. The combo is ridiculous, yeah. Just keep an early wildfire. I think I can get away with it with a uh, armor vendor on one. Ooh. Yeah, that, that was a good choice. I might even um I might even coin the wildfire if it's odd. Just so that I can have a Okay. Um, I don't think I need to anymore. But I want to make sure I get it down before the Reckless. Keep it the coin seems valuable when... Uh, I want to get to Jaina quickly, I think. Uh, drops are enabled, yes. No! no. Okay, well that might be my coin now. More dress and ETC would make a great band. Agreed. I see. You can just take it slow here. Um I get some value off of hero power, and I want to save the coin for the pocket galaxy anyway. Eight mana Ragnaros. Literally unplayable. I think this is that same um, watch post deck, yeah. Like it's a full on watch post deck. Get aggro. Let's look for a one pot here, I think. I just need to clear these. What if I had died so far? Nothing. I was looking for the two AoE here and I got it, so. Seems good. Vendor? Yeah, I think I want the 2 2 over the vendor, though, is what I was thinking. It was only vendor that had died, so. It's effectively nothing. cost reduction. There was maybe an argument for um, trading the other way, just because the hero power now fits into that, but it's okay. 
Uh, if they, as soon as they have the seven mana card that um, summons five fives, this gives us uh, Shadow Word Ruin, right? We'll just have a little peek. <laughs> hmm. Don't send the. Okay, that's fine. I, know a soul. I just want to make sure this doesn't get sent to, to deck. I should have pink face. I missed damage. Uh, so maybe I just hold this or die and wait for some bounce effects. It's greedy, but I've got a Janel Eye next turn anyway. There we go. I didn't have 10 mana. But, assuming this sticks, we win anyway. And at worst, we just shove a Janelai there. Would Primordial Protector be a good idea in this deck? No, we don't want to draw the uh, Pocket Galaxy. We want to, like, Tortolan does the same thing, but better. I was going to bounce him. I wanted to see the animation again. Tips on how to beat Tax Paladin? Uh, Control Warlock is apparently a good matchup. Defy all Dark Skies and um, Mana Cheat. Check uh, Corbett's Twitter. Really, Wildfire seems good. I think I'm going to keep the Varden as well. Just as a, um, an answer to a wide board, which Paladin tends to want. Oh, nice. Rex Saucy, thank you for the six months with Prime. Thanks for all the fun streams and cool deck. You can save the world. Um, not sure about that, but I can play some Hearthstone. Ruffle, how do I get time to move faster? Uh, have you tried fast forwarding? We have turned our curse into our strength. Hey, welcome, Mitch. Hey, we got the Tortolan. And uh, we've got an upgraded hero power. And we've got a crackle going at our minion right now. This can deal with an eel. Or murlocs if they're running them.
I think having this on the board is better than not having it on the board, even though it potentially dies to a rush lackey or even a shoot lackey. We've got decent late game. I just need something to like bridge these uh, few turns that. We currently have, um, so that's where Varden comes in next turn. I need something for turn seven, though. Rush Lackey. I just uh, need stats in play right now, and um, next turn is Zeliax ping, so. Blech. Is this better now? I think this is better now. It full clears. That was quite a good top deck. I see you later, Ian. Alright. Um, should be pretty easy from here. We just go... Here into that and bump here. Depending on what we draw, it'll be either be Jaina or like if we get Jaina, we can get a lot of uh, water Ellie's from the um, totems that they summon. We can just full clear the board this turn. I can take them. Wait, not all of them. We're gonna have some fun. Oh, it's great. Job done. Pretty good. Give me them water ellies. Face! This is awesome. This is what the deck is meant to do. Oh, I don't know about that devolve. Oh, give me the Bran! Give me the brand. Give me the brand. Don't you dare kill that Sonya. No! How dare you. Very 
Rex Saucy, thank you for the 100 bits. Dope play, thank you. It worked out pretty well there, didn't it? All right, I'll be right back. Um, play a few more games, but I need a quick break. Hey Ninja, stream's going all right. Shall be mine. Your curiosity will be the end of you. Early book inspector seems okay. Or I could hold it for like it depends on how aggressive uh, we snuff out the deck. Hey Canvas. You are not the okay. Boss yeah, today. early book is good. Fine.
It's a good start for me in this matchup, I think. I can always coin out a Zilliax next turn if I need to clear the, um, the Imp, and I might do that. I might do that regardless of the outcome, just get the um, Jandis on five. It's a pretty slow start if it's Disco Warlock. So maybe it's not? Is it Dark Glare? Yeah. So I want to save the Varden then. That's actually a good hit. Having Divine Shield on this is generally a good thing. Is Cuba Control or Reno a good to climb to Legend? Um, I mean, <laughs> I, you've asked that many times and I've answered it. Uh, but Control Warlock is very good right now because it deals with Aggro Paladin. But uh, giants are why we wanted to keep the the Varden. Also, just got the broom. Double Envoy Restrix the other day? That sounds amazing. I'm jealous. Well, that's one way to empty your deck. your hand. <laughs> so that's eight on board. Reno is uh, quite oh my god they're losing their win conditions. Oop. I need to start getting the hero powers going because I do have a Janelai in hand and uh, Janelai seems good. It's good to see Dark Glare players losing. I think that that's one of like the uh, upsides to the aggro paladin right now is it uh, does so well in this matchup. Beer hole. Thank you for the six months. Your power like it doesn't matter that much, other than it gets us closer to the uh, Janelai. 
Next turn, I just want to play this. Seven mana wildfire seems worth. <laughs> if you say so. Apparently, I am not the boss of them. They are you sure you want to draw that many cards though? Oh, they just want to lose. Or they're trying to get to the Molten Giant and they just keep discarding it. Because that's the second Molten they've discarded. You know, earlier today, uh, Twitch chat told me that uh, Tamsin is one of the best mercenaries. Really seems to be the case. Is Varden worth just for the freeze? Uh, yes. And also because they're a minion that we can bounce, reduce to one cost, and doesn't interfere with Book of Spectres. Like it's the fact that it's a minion makes a big difference as well. So it's better than spells that freeze. Ah, uh, yes, one player griefing. Them. Okay, I'm just not gonna have discussions with chat anymore. You know, because like that's exactly the kind of uh, argument that they make in favor of things. Which was the point? Uh, keep the wildfire and the tortolan. We tried even Reno Mage. No, I think this is just better. And. I've done even mage already. I think that we don't need to do all of the above. Job done. Greetings from the cold dark. You are not the boss of me. That's good. That's good. I just need to dodge a golem. Yeah, they whiffed. It's important. I think I need the ice block right now. I'm going to have openings later. And I don't want to play this until after I get the um, pocket galaxy off of the Tortolan. Not because I'm worried about uh, drawing the pocket galaxy, but because it's just like... Um, it draws me into one mana minions is the whole point of it. I can't let that live. So I'm not going to. Made my day. Thank you for the two months with Prime. Good hit.
What is the best OTK deck other than Reno Priest? Aligos? Druid, maybe? I might actually have to just rip this to try and find uh, Reno or Varden. I don't think I can get too cute with the uh, Tortolan. Mazaki Mage? Oh, right. Um, Flame Waker Mage, not Mazaki Mage. Mazaki Mage is worse. Oh. Is the early Ice Block just so you have mana? I mean, I, I could have died there, though, right? I guess i not likely, but... Um, also, it was the most mana-efficient play. Playing the uh, Amplifier didn't really give me much because I needed to kill the Imp. Why can't I grab this as a card? Yeah. That was very good here. It's going to be enough on its own. So I should probably draw a Reno Jackson. Or a Varden. I don't even know if Varden's going to be enough because they do have a reasonable amount of burst in hand. <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate. We need some taunts. Technically not dead. No, don't. It's still good. Who dares summon me? Victory is yours. Do you think Tempo Mage can win right now? I mean, it depends on how you define Tempo Mage. The Flame Waker combo is very similar to what old Tempo Mages used to look like. Probably need to keep the Gazakus and the Ice Block. Maybe even the Luna was worth. The light dims, but we fight. I'm gonna keep this ping for next turn. Need to get a one pot off of the Gazakus. Most Paladin Dex on Righteous Protector? Yeah, most do. It's just a very good card. And it's in the core set now, right? really difficult for me to deal with. Time to play fair, Raffle. I think you and I have different definitions of fair.
the web lore or sir brutal Really needed that to be on my yug. This deck is so oppressive. Yeah, it's very good. I haven't seen a druid in a while. I'm gonna keep Reno just in case it's aggro. How often do you see these watchtower decks? I mean, there's just one. The the paladin one is the popular one because uh, you can get it into play for free with uh, call to arms. Is aggro. So I'm pretty happy with my uh, Reno keep. I need some more tools to uh, to get there. I think. Or there's a new rogue deck with the Watchtowers. I think that's a standard deck. I don't know if it translates well into Wild yet. I don't know that anybody has uh, tested it. I can Flame Waker be better than Mizaki. It's faster. Flame Waker is five mana. Mizaki is or er, backwards. Mizaki is five mana. Flame Waker is three mana. Yeah, you brick less with the uh, Flame Waker as well because you don't. You just need to play any spell. You don't need damage spells necessarily. Let me work my magic. Maybe they won't trade. Limitless. Five health is quite a lot, and if it heals for five, that's also pretty good. Is that a brand? I think this does the same thing, but it's more likely to stick, and it's just like, it's better if... Um, cards now. Well, I need it to be Daring Fire Eater.
Wait, am I just dead? Oh. I miscounted their damage. But their attack, uh, <laughs> their attack pacing made me think I was alive. Bot play? No, it was more just like a mobile play. I'm just going to keep the Zeph and the Wildfire, probably. Why do you only have 800 gold? Because I spent all of my gold on the expansion? That released, like, four days ago? Ooh, Odd Paladin is much better for me than the Texas Paladin, especially with that pickup. So I just get this down next turn. Imagine not hoarding gold like Gilbler. I mean, I, I only bought the standard bundle, so I didn't get a lot of packs, and I don't buy packs aside from that. So most of my packs are earned from gold. Can we play Hearthstone, please? There we go. So we ping, and then we play this. And then we're happy. And the opponent's sad, and we laugh. I don't think there's anything that gets us out of range right now, right? You think Quest Mage can win it in the meta right now? Yes, as long as you cut the quest and uh, just go all in on the, uh, like the mana cheat. Like the the quest doesn't isn't better than just like the the miracle APM combos right now, just because it takes too much time to set up. Well, <laughs> Mordresh and Janelai are both online now. Yeah. Four mana Consecrate and Mage seems good. Four mana Consecrate that also makes a 3-5 body. I'm gonna try and save the book for after the um Tortolan. The light dims, but we fight. You think Agro Paladin is too oppressive or refreshing because it brings a new metagame? A little of both, to be honest. Like it's only refreshing because it's um new. As soon as it becomes common, I think people are going to find it quite frustrating. I think people already are finding it quite frustrating. Your wish is my suggestion. I don't think I want the um, the spell here, even though it's tempting. All in due time. Glory to the Sindora. 
just because most commonly the uh, secrets that they run are those that um, interact with spells. What does that draw? You here for the tour? The blessing of authority, maybe? Reporting for duty. Okay, this is kind of concerning now. Conviction? Yeah, conviction makes sense. Good call. It's probably better than Blessing of Authority. Have you played the Murloc Even Shaman yet? No. I I'm, I really don't like Even Shaman as an archetype. I find it dull, uh, so I don't often play it. But I did play the... Um, I did play the regular Murloc Shaman, and that was pretty fun. Good turn to draw that. We treat these as though they're three threes, and I think I would trade a six five into a three three. to avoid a bounce on that, I guess. Coin two armsmen, yeah. That's why we've been trading into these. Either outcome was good there. Um, I probably just want to go Book of Spectres next turn and try and find some of my, um, like, high impact minions that aren't already in play. Like, more Dresh would be great, and then I can bounce them and win the game. Hello? Hello? Illusion was pretty good there. I mean, I would kind of run out of board space, right? I would just get another rag. I just want to get the uh, pocket galaxy down for this uh, coming turn. Also, probably Omayog. Yeah, that's why I haven't been playing a spell. So maybe I don't actually get a chance to play this. Okay, I'll just go... Here. It's probably GG either way. I don't really have a great way to test for mm. uh, Oh My Yog, but Jaina probably seals this game.
Honestly, I think my best card to test for uh, Omayog would have been an ice block there. Or Paladins. These are not the cards we want to keep. Uh, I think Varden might even be too slow. I just need to, like, I cannot afford to get even slightly behind. I need Zephyrus, I need one drops, I just... I need everything. This is... this is it. There's no reason to ping here. This is fantastic. I can get this. I probably just want to get this down, right? Since there's only one minion to freeze. Do I trade in here? I think I want the damage. Next turn, I spirit coin ping. Or freeze face. The light dims. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Suppose that worked out. Show me a call to arms. I dare you. Actually, no, don't. Please don't. I don't want to see it. Do you think the plus one attack for Leper Gnome is that impactful? Absolutely, yes. So, one like especially at low mana cost, one stat or it makes a huge difference. Like, one mana took. Um, oof. Took Leper Gnome from like an auto include in every. in nearly every aggressive deck to unplayable. Yeah, I figured it was redemption, but like what am I what am I going to do here? I I'm still stuck. All of my minions are battle cries. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here. Zef into silence. Please clear. This is such a frustrating matchup. The light dims, but we fight. Doctor Cop Apocalypse, thank you for the three dollars. Still free to play besides donated bundles? Keep it up. Just at Legend right now while watching your stream, so I thought you'd share us the love. Well, thank you for that. Uh, support. Victory is yours. And congrats on Legend. Um, not entirely. So, like, occasionally I'll buy the bundles, but, um...
and I did purchase the rewards track because I felt like it was actually valuable this time. I do not want that matchup, though. Hey, them. Wouldn't Zephyrus into a board? No, I, I, Zephyrus himself is six mana, and I don't think he's going to offer a board clear, and then on top of that, like, I just lose. I'm going to keep this, even though it's super greedy. I'm going to play that next turn. And then... This can, after that, um, well met. Well met. Uh, this can actually end up dealing with a, not a Nerubian because of the uh, battle cry block, but it does deal with a watch post. Cool. It's an unfortunate hit for me, but at least that's dead now. I think pinging here is maybe better. Job done. Just because this sets up for, I don't know, better plays with um, the Reckless Apprentice. And if they're buffing something, it's a uh, lower health. Not a great redemption target, at least. <sighs> How do they always have double weblord against me? non aggro way to counter that weblord um yeah defile dark skies warlock a deck that doesn't rely entirely on um on battle cries would be a good place to start Zilliax is not good enough here. I don't know when he's going to be good, but... Just find Shadow Word Horror. Well, you actually need two spells if you want to play one because of Oh My Yogg. Precision. 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 
You, we have an out even if they take three turns to kill us. Um, yeah, if I can get the Jaina down, I might have a chance. But it's definitely not looking good. Nope, I can't win here. This is not a very fun matchup. Watch posts are really stupid. I mean, watch post isn't what won them this game. The watch post is not been on in play most of this game. Victory is yours. Every single time they have double weblord. And it just makes my entire hand unplayable. Keeping turtle was bad. Yeah. But it <laughs> didn't matter. I said it was a greedy play, but it didn't. Your curiosity will be the end of you. Like when I'm already clearly frustrated, <laughs> pointing out a negligible mistake that didn't have any impact on the outcome of the game is just. You're just being a dick. You're irritating. Don't. Don't do that. Read the room. <laughs> Maybe tech in Devolving Missiles? Devolving Missiles is bad in a Pocket Galaxy deck, and um, Oh My Yog is a card. Uh, I think this is more valuable in a rogue matchup. I'll probably just ping here. I don't need to give away a card here. Oh. I was not expecting that. Um, okay, we need to get the more... We need to keep these two to freeze their board, and we need to get to more Dresh as uh, soon as we can. Another non-game? No, this is very winnable. Especially with uh, Zephyrus getting uh, five damage flame strikes. This is fine. This is so valuable in considering bouncing it. But I don't want to give them uh, minions to complete off of. Love the feel of wind in me sails. Craig has him. Mm-hmm. They had a second one of those anyway, so it was Love the feel of wind in me sails. I'm going to go Fan of Knives here, actually. Your wish is my suggestion. Ah! 
and then I have potential uh, potion of illusion in turns. Because like their whole turn is the um, the quest, and so they shouldn't be able to do too much here. And they might be tempted to um, kill off the Zeph anyway. isn't working out as well as I had hoped, but if the um, spirit stays on the board, meaning they don't have a whole lot of uh, rush minions or charge minions, we can get the uh, ice walker down. Mm. This is going to be tough. I hope you like my is Quest Rogue run backstab? I don't think so. They might if they're running flinger, but I think that that's um, not the way you want to build it. Really didn't want that to happen. really don't know what my options are here. Who knows what secrets will <laughs> Works against me. Probably high roll something off of Alex Straza. I think I was maybe too, or playing too hard into the early game. I should have just let them play solitaire and then adjust. I don't think Apprentice works with elementals. It does. I, I did it earlier. It doesn't work with this. Do I want Alex or Jaina? Like, I'm just dead on board if I only go with Alex. So that seems bad. Works against me. All right, even if I double trade, I lose. So I think it has to be Jaina. Do not fear power. Fear those who wield it. It's 
possible we're still dead to chargers. We should still get one of these, right? Love the feel of wind in me sails. Give me that. Not what I want. Quickly. I don't know that Reno Potion is a winning line. Because, like, two boars just kill me here, right? I need Varden. I mean, now I can Reno in Potion. But that wasn't going to be a winning play until they cleared their board for me. Please let L Reno live for Barista. Reno, like... Reno doesn't do anything, though. They have 35 damage. Life and hope are worth fighting. Well played. Uh, I think that's on me. I think I played that poorly in the early game. Hell 
Regina! You asked for it. You're still on the wrong side, Jaina. You think unnerved quest is a problem? Um, relative to the power level of wild? No. Not really the card I want to see, but... Oh my god, we're drawing a little bit too heavy here. I'm just going to go next after that. I drew literally everything that I want off of the pocket galaxy. It's not like Blizzard would fix a problem in Wild anyway. Yeah, they'd never done that before. <laughs> Certainly when Hysteria was released, um, they let it just go on forever. Big brain. On the wrong side, Jaina. Durinfly, thank you for the 200 bits. Thanks, Raffle. You are appreciated. Well, I appreciate that. Why do people complain about Wild not being changed? Because um, it doesn't change very often, but that was like the intention of the format. And people just want something to complain about on the internet. Didn't they say they don't want to balance around wild anymore? Nope. <laughs> nope. That's just what, how people on the internet misinterpret what they actually said. Because it's not being changed, except for the 30 cards that they just unnerfed specifically for the wild format. You think Celestial Alignment Giant's interaction may get tweaked? I would be surprised. That deck is mega bad. Rochan, thank you for the under bits. Cthune Mage is different. I'm just gonna pay mana while I can. There's no reason to, like, I can hero power uh, to our guide next turn. You think there's value in going back and buffing old cards that got power crept? There's entire expansions of cool old cards that seem unplayable in Wild. Um, I mean, that kind of depends a little bit, right? Like, I think it's fine for cards to get power crept, especially when they're bad cards to begin with. Like, if they get a power crept. If they get properly power crept, then they've already kind of effectively buffed that card, right? So, I don't think it's necessary in that case. If they're unique interactions that are just like not, that are just like outmatched by the power level of new cards in the format, then maybe, but I don't know. I, ain't talking. I, can't take a I wanted that. There's always going to be cards that are stronger than others, and that's just how card games work. And that's okay. Your tour ends here. Yeah. Get aggro. Yeah. I guess the other two outcomes, like there was no good outcome for me. <laughs> In in my hand at the moment uh, for the uh, the dirty rat, so I think I'm fine with that. Is anyone using New Kazakas in Wild? Um, I've seen it a couple times, but it's not very very strong. It seems. Like it's hard to find the like. The, the home for it, I think, is the biggest issue. What makes something real? 
guess it has to be that one. Do you think Prince Valinor is better than New Kazakas? Definitely not, no. <laughs> no. Wow, that's a naked Zola. I think I want a 5-pot here and probably some card draw. There we go. Preemptively ping there next turn. I want to get the uh, pocket galaxy down. Double pump Azerano, extra star whip, high mountain ice room for mana spice coming right up. Okay. Uh, I can get board clears with the Varden and uh, Potion Evolution, or even the Zola. Me oh, I think we faced this opponent earlier, <laughs> unless there are two people running Geist. Ooh, it's a good draw. I'm just gonna get my Jaina down here. And uh, we can just use the, sure, Luna to start digging for our powerful uh, battle cry stuff to start looking for bounce effects. Like Mordresh would be great. That counts too. Welcome to their show. Behold the tools of creation. Hmm. Looks like I'm here just in time. My dream is your nothing. Looks like I'm here just in time. Behold the tools of creation. Behold the tools of creation. The time is now. You're in my hands now. We don't need Zephyrus right now. If anything, the Luna's the most important thing on the board, but I'm holding out hope for the uh, the Mordresh for my bounce effects, because that's the most fun thing to do. And we could easily OTK our opponent with him. I mean, that's fine. Like, I um, needed the board space for my dream portals anyway. Flame Strike is worth running, um, not in this deck. Unity for 
I could have done that better and denied some healing, but I'll hold on to this a little bit longer, I think. No more Reno because of portals, though? I don't think Reno is a high priority right now. I want to find Bran and um, my battle cries. I genuinely miss Jaina versus Jaina. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. And standard Flame Strikers run because it can transform into Nagarian Slam with Deck of Lunacy. Well, yeah, but that's a very different format. That is much less likely to happen in Wild. I could bounce the uh, the Ysera just to get more dragons. I think I'll commit this now. And hold. I think I win it the longer this goes, as long as I don't let them draw into, even if they draw into um, Cthulhu. We need more Albatross to counter Reno decks. I mean, just let them generate a Ysera and then it turns uh, Reno offline. Easy. Poof. Go get him, Reg. Why didn't you play Ysera before? Before Alex? But I got the Ysera off of the Alex. Why didn't we potion there? I'm saving the potion for um, more Dresh still. And this is... I think potion might have been lethal, was it? Don't I end up with the same number of rags either way? Time melts away. Oh, you get the rag, right. Okay, you're right. Sixty percent of my deck is dream portals. I'm just gonna let myself draw into them. We're gonna be rich. Do I even have the hand space for this? Barely. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna call it there. I've been going for about uh, five hours, so I think that's a good place to end it. Sorry for the late start, uh, but internet wasn't cooperating early on. It looks like it stabilized later on.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I will be back, uh, not tomorrow. I've got a day off. Um, I will be back on Monday, so hit that follow button. You'll get a notification when I go live. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Join the Discord if you'd like, and uh, highlights over on YouTube. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in a couple days. Wait. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, stick around, though. I'm going to send you over to our good friend Famous. Wild Hearthstone streamer, get me up. Who is playing some Librem Paladin, so hang out with him.